And we just blew it off because we were able to get the whole 360 audience watching us from all across Africa. And we were able to sustain our whole content being rewatched over and over and over again, even during COVID. And guys couldn't just get the best. I guess we just, you know, this is, this, this is the show. And now finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is the time. Those who have been asking on all media spaces, asking on the streets, when are we having once again Kenya's most successful love reality show? Ladies and gentlemen, I, as the eagle himself, Dr. Fonike, I can officially announce we are back on air. And now I'm not back on air alone. Please allow me to invite my co host for this season, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. I don't know if you guys are ready, please put your hands together for Diana Mar
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we need to take it up again, isn't it? So let's just uh, get the audio right so that we can able to get the full. Yes. Otherwise, Papa Dali, once again, if I do begin in my coffee, to begin in my coffee, to begin in my coffee. Uh, yeah, so these are your but it's a shame to me feature my jaws. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, men, you all look amazing. Uh, thank you for coming through. So, how does it feel? It feels amazing. Uh, first of all, uh, I think I want to give a big thank you to all of you who've managed to come here to see the unveiling of uh, the new season of Hello, Mr. Wright, season three. And uh, before I go further, I'd like to give God a big uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. And uh, also, I'd like to give a big, big shout out to my pillar, my confidant, my best friend, my husband, seated right over there. Thank you so much, baby, for supporting me. <laughs> And uh, for bringing me here, I appreciate you. And also to the entire Star Times fraternity for believing in me and to give me this opportunity to host this amazing show that is about to begin. All I can say is that I'm promising you that it's gonna be the best and out to be. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... We're gonna give love. We're gonna give solutions. In that part, we're just matching our people. And um, I think the most interesting about season three is the fact that we're not just matching our people, but we're actually, we're, for the first time, we're including a relationship expert into the story. So when you're almost falling in love, we wanna make sure you're falling in love in the right time, in the right place, and you're looking for the right things, and not the red flags. So we wanna know even how to see the red flags. That's how. Isn't it? Like for example, let me ask Diana. Um, the first date between a guy and a lady, um, who is supposed to pay the bill? It's the guy, I mean. Uh, who's without say? It's the guy. It's the guy. Yeah. I tend to have a different opinion. Do you want them to do 50-50? No, it's my money. <laughs> it's my money. It's your date. This is it, eh? So first of all, we need to ask ourselves, is it a business date? Or is it a relationship kind of, a flirting kind of a date? It's not a business date, it's a connection. Connection? Yeah, kind of date. Kind of a date. You want to get to know. No, that one I will pay. That one I will pay. But if it's a business date, all right? The person who called for the meeting is the one that will pay for the bill. I don't know guys, do you agree? Yeah. Do you agree that the lady should pay for the bill if she's called for the meeting? Yeah. Even if, if it's business? No. If it's business. It's